write as a multiple of i, the square root of negative 8. So we can break down the square root of negative 8 into the square root of 8 times the square root of negative 1. Now we can break down the square root of 8 into the square root of 4 times the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. So now we have the square root of 4, which is 2, times the square root of 2, times the square root of negative 1. I remember the square root of negative b equals i times the square root of b. So if we have negative 1, we're going to have i times the square root of 1. And the square root of 1 is just 1, so we're going to have i. So our answer is 2 times the square root of 2 times i. That's our answer.